Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. My name is Exior and this is No Lives Left. When we last left off, we had just finished episode 2. Turns out Rose is possessed. No big fucking shocker there. But we're gonna see all of that at the beginning of episode 3. Ransom, anyway, when they show us the previously on, previously Alan, Wake. on Alan Wake. Yeah, that. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see a white man. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried <laughs> that you're not right thing in again. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. It was so dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Okay, How so the part hell three, three ran the manuscript anyway. I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I You know what they say about saying I told you so, Barry. It's bad karma. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. FBI. He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Well, I don't know why you're Help suddenly you so eager to go to the Name's police. Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well. I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths. We already know the place is weird. What are you trying to tell me? And get this. Most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. It is. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, is that there a boat? was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him That's out to be a cool famous writer. Name. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. So that's yeah, the island we were staying that? on? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Oh, yeah, the damn lucky. Come mm. on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. I don't need to hear hurry up from the guy with the limp leg, all right? It says open, but I don't think it's open. Can I? I, I kind of want a hot dog. That's. I mean, you're Randy, right? Can I have a hot dog? You guys, I love hot dogs. But I don't know. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, I thought you were done, Barry. Just a week earlier, they were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like. Oh, anyway, you're childish. Now, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. That's gonna end up being the old lady, right? That yeah. Crazy bag lady you met. What? The lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Okay, so people died. She got mad about it, and is she responsible for this, or is she like, is she just foretelling what's gonna happen well, to me? Well, Mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. She found something of mine. I'm come to claim it. That sounds pretty bad too, actually. I'll just go with what Barry said. It's a good thing no one can hear me, and it's a good thing you have enough sense to get the fuck out of the way, Barry. Was that a knock? You sure you don't want to try again? Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. Clearly I'm, possessed. I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, come on, oh. Alan. Please tell me you're oh, not yes. being a fucking moron about yes. this. 
Please, come in. She couldn't be more possessed. She couldn't be more possessive if it was written on her hey, face. This is really good. And it was. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Oh, Al, she drank the coffee. Oh. Barry. Oh, that was a pretty good hit. What? What? Oh shit. What was the name of this story? Misery? Is that the right one? I don't remember which one it was. It's I think it was Misery. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Are we in another nightmare sequence like the beginning? I wish I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. I don't you think I watched to finish you. what you started. I didn't start it. It's your fault. I was just trying to have a fucking vacation. You must train me back. Isn't that what I've been doing? Back to work, boy. Good man. <laughs> right for the light switch. No hesitance. Also, good reaction. I felt nauseous, hungover. Only anger kept me going. That's weird. I can't tell reality from dream anymore. Yeah, more TV. I have an imaginary editor to help me. For a she's game all about books, there's sure a lot of TV. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. So you she reminds me control? I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. Kind of more about like the black complex man, incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances. Thomas Zane, Zane. yeah. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. I think I enjoy these sequences like about a thousand times better more than the oh, Rose Barry. took a day from me. You I had so less majestic. than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. So where's Rose? Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Coffee thermos. I didn't even see that. I just saw that it told me to get right. it. Right. Deserve more money. I'm so handsome. I can't say you don't want to say anything about Rose. Oh dear diner. Oh okay. Where can I get you today? Coffee. No, I'm good I on coffee. I couldn't work up thanks. much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First we kill his tree. Milk and sugar on the counter. Okay, so I don't have anything to. Are those my books? These are my books, aren't they? Oh, they're not. Okay, so what am I doing with you, Barry? Uh, whatever. Let's get out of here, I guess. Oh, running. Hey, My manuscript. gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. I agree. Mr. Randolph calls the police. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers... The writer and his smart-ass sidekick looked like trouble, and they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. So the police are on their way here. That's fine, because uh, I was kind of going to them afterwards anyway. Yeah, she drugged me, man. I don't want to fucking hear it. I have to go all the way back out of this. Am I going to get into a fight with the darkness? i.e. memory loss. Is the hot dog thing open? Is this a late night ordeal? No. Damn it. I wanted a hot dog thermos. I see it. You can't hide it from me. Your bolt will not distract me this time. I'm taking this thermos. Can't even try and stop. Oh shit, that's not good. Hey Randy. 
When's that hot dog cart open? Oh, you're gonna get it now. Fine, I wanted to talk to the police. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. The this poor is girl's Agent funny. Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. Hemingway? You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. <laughs> Wasn't I looking forward to talking what to this I, guy? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! That's a good getaway, huh? But there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake! Come on! Take it easy now! Move on! Get away! Don't let him get away! I'm gonna fuck out of here. I guess I'm running away from the cops. I thought they were fine, but... I guess the FBI's pissed at me. I don't know why they're pissed at me. The sound is coming from my left, so we'll be going to the right. They stopped the car right there? Yeah, they did. Oh, shit. I don't know if there's any way to get rid of that or avoid that. I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of assuming this is more of a cinematic sequence. Maybe I should try to avoid this one. Let's go through the woods here a little bit. I get shot at. Oh, damn. Oh. Yeah. I love a good chase sequence and all, but the darkness does better than you assholes. Hey, where the fuck am I? This way. I don't know how I know, I just know. I'm a video game protagonist, it's fine, don't worry about it. What is that? Manuscript? I think so. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. We need to get him head him off. Is this gonna give me the answers to get away? For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. So I awaken this darkness by approaching, and now it's after me. Or it had me, and now it, it already used me. Free itself, and that's what this is. Damn. Well, I'm not very confident you survived that. You probably have supplies. No, nothing? Okay. Well, I'm gonna move on then. Fuck out of here. Are they fighting the darkness now or are they still fighting me? Because I don't hear anything anymore. Search the area. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Stay sharp. They're down there. Okay. This way. Mm, take the low road and I'll take the high road, boys. Let's go. out there getting jumped by the darkness so I guess I'm fighting cops from now on I didn't see that coming no I mean I mean it I didn't see that coming but uh, we're out of time for this episode so next time on let's play Alan Wake we fuck the police I'll see you then